hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another weekend in my life another day in my life before i start the vlog i just want to say i'm so tired that is why my eyes are kind of red that is why like i look so tired anyways i just wanted to say thank you for the love i've been receiving on my channel on the recent videos especially the last one that i posted with cynthia you people are loving it and i'm loving this for you guys it is a one hour long video editing it i was like oh my god are people going to watch this through i was so nervous because i'm used to post a like, video that lasts like 15 minutes 20 25 but seeing you guys love a long hour video i was like oh my god oh my god that is so amazing so thank you very much for the support if you didn't watch the video i'm gonna link it up here for you to check it out um yeah last week i didn't vlog did i oh yes i vlogged i vlogged but it was very boring but you guys still watched it which i love thank you very much you know it made me feel like i will have to just post no matter how much my vlog is looking because i felt like i'm not showing anything i'm not going anywhere why should i post it but you people watched it and my friends were like just post the content so it, it pushed me to just do what i want to do and just post it regardless so um in today's vlog we are going for the journaling event the host is back the person who normally hosts the event and i'm so glad that she's back i can't wait to go to our sessions because her sessions are always eye-opening and um this is just to invite you to come like at least once and experience the goodness of journaling because it makes me happy like i don't know where i will be now without journaling so that's the first activity and second i am going for a breast cancer screening good life if you don't know good life it's um i'm gonna search <laughs> put it here they have like a pharmacy they have like a they sell things but they're more like a pharmacy kind of business i don't know how to call it so they are offering a free breast cancer screening today and at their new location in gisimeti and everything that involves health and free i'm going to attend because we are getting old i'm 28 and i should be screening for those things and you know that when it comes to cancer it doesn't choose like age race or anything when it's cancer it just hit you and you know that when you see it before it is the best that seeing it when it's, uh, it has already spread so even though i don't have symptoms even though i don't have any family history of cancer of breast cancer i'm still going to see what's happening because yo let me tell you we need to take our life seriously and one of my main goals this year was to be very intentional with my health that is why i've been going for my walks drinking my water and i'm going for this screening so in other news our house girl is not home so i'm the one doing most of everything <sighs> then I never did. so i'm just gonna do my first activity of the day and then i will catch you when i'm getting ready or maybe you can spend the day together you can see what i'm doing yeah let's go <laughs> Thank you. 
15 minutes late but i'm gonna try and try and get there because what matters is me showing up for myself so let me quickly go we'll catch up later this won't be easy Ready, left the pile on the way Guess you better brace for hey Can't say what comes No rule, no brakes, no glove This lemur has no obey Or Don't you feel start to even out the score Or Don't you feel fire boiling down your veins Cause you spill the loose right onto this road Want you go on and play through the pain Feel it in your bones and fail until you don't Hold on to your beat until you make it Feel it in your bones and fail until you don't Hold on to your beat until you make it Hi guys, so the lighting here is really cute and perfect. The journaling event is done. I am going to Kissimmee for the breast cancer screening. We really had a good session, but as always, I was late and I'm not proud. Because you remember, I was being the guest of the house. So I'm, I'm heading to to good life. Look at me being a vlogger. How shy. The sunset. Okay, so I'm going. Let's go. Let's go and see what this is all about. Les toucher les étoiles. I was telling you guys that we really had a good session and at the end of the journaling we just sat down and discussed about how journaling changed our lives i was sharing my experience because apparently i've been writing a lot because my journal is almost full so i was just sharing like my tips um how i journal every day let me tell you journaling changed my life that's why i developed um a journaling prompt guide if you are interested in journaling if you want to start and you don't know where to start i'm gonna put the picture here and show you like some of the things you can get from there it's only 3k i will leave the link to into the description box so you can get it uh the people are looking at me like hmm what does she think she is so, uh let me take a motorbike and just run your sound the shell and out your name don't you feel sad to even out the score? Don't you feel fire burning down your face? Cause you spilled all this right into this road. I want you to go home and play through the pain. Yeah. 
Smiling to another tasteless day The lucky girls to choose a shade of grey Someone never sets foot in this town Who clamps his clothes on you and drags you down I know life with me is not always light Been drinking, screwing, itching for a fight Your mama warned you against the guys like me She married one of them close to vlog here and i'm so tired let me tell you every morning when i wake up i'm like girl girl anyways i wanted to close the vlog here but i wanted to give you a recap of yesterday so yesterday i went to the journal and cook shop as you saw and i went to good life uh, so actually good life was opening a new store at um Kissimmee and they were offering um a free breast cancer screening so i got there around 3 30 because the journaling event started at, at 2 p.m and my idea was to go after the journaling event because going before that was not possible because i was home doing the oh, cleaning and everything so when i got there at the good life they told me the manager told me that the cancer screening was over so i got there around 3 30 and i had to wait for my friend to be there because we told each other we wanted to do it at the same time so while i was waiting for her the screening was over so they told me they were no longer doing it i went to i think it was a nurse or a pharmacist to confirm and then they told me that it was closed so apparently they finished around 4 p.m and what really hurted me is that on their poster there were no like hours so in my head i was like maybe it's a an everyday um event something that's gonna happen for like so many hours if i knew they were going to close at 3 p.m i could have just went there like around one before my journaling event but anyways we are not complaining um maybe next time i'll be able to be there on time so when i realized that i wasn't gonna get the screening i we decided to visit the shop and then because we had a lot of catching up we ended up going to Deoranda. we wanted to try it out my best friend's gonna kill me because <laughs> we planned to try it out together but it was just like random and we decided to go for it so the place is really beautiful it's like the kind of beautiful you just got there it's so beautiful but i feel like 
it's not a place you go, you will keep on going to because the food wasn't giving we had a chicken pizza uh for me i will rate it a solid um seven or six it wasn't giving i ate a lot of pizza but that one nah it wasn't giving you know no salt we had to add like the mayo and the ketchup to make it more you know and i also saw a joel to you talking about it on her on his channel or instagram or tiktok i don't remember where i saw it but i feel like i saw him also talking about their food um but when i got there like i had like an open mind to taste greatness but nah it's a solid seven six will be exaggerating it's a solid seven i feel like the cheese wasn't cheesing and the, they put a lot of nobody taste which were like mm, nah. but the venue is really beautiful for pictures for content um yeah it was small i could tell it, it was giving like you know when bubble tea opened up and everyone was going there just because the decor was giving and then after like three months nobody was still no one was going there i feel like i hope that's not the case but that's the vibe that i got from there because people will come in they'll take pictures they'll take like one drink and then yeah anyways anyways that was it so we left the place around seven i had to cut get back home to cook and everything so i'm so tired that's why why am i always like this i'm so tired that's why i want to end the vlog here so that i can have like enough time to edit it and make sure that it goes up before 8 p.m today why am i always like this 8 p.m today so that was a day in my life um yeah me trying to be consistent and all my eyes are red yo i'm tired now i'm going to go away with frame so i'm just gonna end the vlog here thank you for watching give it a thumbs up um share it with your friends let them know what's popping bye <laughs> ciao peace out